Uh, all right, so I'm Kevin Minto. This is uh, Smart Guitar Chords. It's a temporary name. Uh, I'll probably come up with something a little bit like snazzier as I go on. So uh, I am a guitar player, so that's where the idea for this came from. And uh, I, I'm also a songwriter, so I come up with, you know, I like to come up with different chords, so I'm not just playing an A and then a B and, you know, really basic chords. So I try to add some variety to the songs, like, you know, most songwriters do. So that means coming up with chords and then keeping track of them, which is difficult to do when you're just kind of keeping them all in your head. So there are lots of ways to write chords. You have uh, chord diagrams, which are great for people who think graphically. You can kind of just look at that and see where your fingers are going to go. Uh, and then you can also show it with, with numbers like that. So that's the easiest way to write down if you just want to jot down uh, what your chords are on your computer or something. Uh, and that's another way vertically. So the uh, the problem with this stuff is, of course, if you are trying to keep your own list of chords, you have a giant document with tons of these these little text files like that, or you have like a piece of paper with drawings like that. So it's hard to to keep all that organized. Uh, and there are some programs that that do help with things like that. Uh, Tux Guitar is one that I looked at that has uh, it's mostly for for tablature, but you can also do a uh, you can also create chords in there. But what I wanted to do is create something that's really tailor-made for chords, to organize chords and to help you come up with chords and put chords together. So it's a database for chords basically, but then what it also does is it analyzes them for you. So it'll give it'll kind of parse the structure of the chord and figure out what the key is and then tell you maybe chords that go well together. Or it'll auto-complete a chord for you or give you suggestions, not necessarily auto-complete, but tell you you know, maybe you want to add this note, this might sound good. So kind of to, to aid in the, the chord making process and the songwriting process. Also sortable, which is much more helpful than just having a text file. Um, and I'm also, I'm going to include, uh, it's not just for custom chords, it's going to have built-in chords as well. Uh, and more than just guitars also, it's very important. And more than just one tuning of guitars. So you can have multiple instruments, you can have a guitar with drop D, you can have a bass guitar if you want to write a chord for that. Uh, and also, I'm going to, I'm trying to have as many different uh, input and output formats as possible. So you could just, you could put in any of those formats before. I'm going to have a graphic format where you can just kind of punch in, uh, you know, click different areas of an image to, uh, to choose where you want to put your fingers on the, the fretboard. And potentially I would like to add the ability to actually bring in like a JPEG image of a chord diagram and turn that into a, uh, a tab. It's uh, developed in Qt, which is a Nokia framework uh, for GUI design, and it uh, uses C++, which is the language I'm most familiar with. Um, and here's a slightly older version of what it looked like. It looks a little bit, uh, has a couple more buttons and labeling and stuff now. And uh, So you've got instruments on the left, chords on the right. I may redesign that to work differently later, but that's the way I'm, I'm kind of designing it at the moment. Um, so you select your guitar that you should be able to see the the chord data for some reason that didn't come up when I took the screenshot. Uh, so you know you you click the guitar, you get the information up there, and then you can uh, you can edit it and save it back. Uh, and this is just what I'm currently doing for for uh, this is where I'm at for kind of managing the data itself, uh, and I'll I'm adding the analyzing the data stuff later. Uh, so what's very important here is there needs to be a link between the instruments and the chords. So that's what I'm. That's one of the big things I've, I've been working on. So that uh, the chords kind of like you know you, you want to make sure that when you click B major, you're also looking at the instrument that goes with that, which is the, the chord the instrument it was written for, which is just a standard guitar in this case. Uh, so I'm gonna move on. Let's see. This is my my current schedule. This is stuff I've already done. So instrument chord selection uh, and displaying it in the, the GUI and all that stuff. Folder manipulation, there. I didn't have them in here, but you can create new folders and delete them and all that stuff. Uh, as of today, I've finished uh, creating new instruments and chords, modifying them, and also there's like a, an ability to switch between just reading them and actually editing them, so you don't accidentally edit something that you wanted to keep the same. Um, and I, I've kind of finished that linking mechanism. Uh, by the uh, next two weeks, I want to have uh, those uh, the calculations for which chords go well together done. 
and also uh, the the autocomplete or the uh, suggestion for you adding notes inside the chord. I'd like to have those done. After that, MIDI sounds is going to be really important so that you can actually create chords without the, having a guitar in front of you and you can you could maybe be on a plane and, and be writing chords uh, and just add, add more algorithms to analyze them and, and just, just want to have as many possible ways to analyze the chords as possible so I'll be working on that throughout and uh, one of the things I really want to add but I haven't looked into how to do it yet is um, is for the program to listen to you know you listen through your computer microphone or whatever to your guitar and then turn that into notes and uh, record that and then uh, by by May 6th I would like to have um, the filtering and, and sorting for instruments and chords done and um, just keep working on more algorithms and make the GUI considerably nicer looking than it currently looks. Uh, I was going to have a, oh there, a special thanks to come on, that's good. <laughs> uh, so a special thanks to um, Morthy, Sean O'Sullivan, uh, David Doria helped a lot with uh, me keeping like, uh, with uh, some of my stuff with, with Git. I was having trouble figuring that out and I, I, my readme wasn't very good and stuff. So yeah, that was helpful also with some cross-platform stuff. And uh, John Dickinson helped me when I was trying to figure out QT when I was first starting out. Um, so anybody have any questions? Codes are already committed and so on. Hmm? The codes are oh, you you have com you are committing your code. Yeah, it's I committed uh, the stuff today. But, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, the feature you said you're thinking about working on the feature, the uh, plan actually plan having it listen to you. Yeah. Is that gonna be like you just strum the chord, or are you gonna do each note? Uh, it would be each note. I couldn't <laughs> think of a way you'd be able to get the whole chord. Yeah. So, uh, did you also mention about listening to the music and making chords? Is it did you say that that's one of the one of the things that you're going to do? Uh, not to listen to an entire piece of music and create chords, mm -hmm. but I, I meant just playing. Like if you come up with a chord while you're playing guitar, you just open it up and then play each note, and it'll turn it into the, the data for the database. That would potentially be possible. I don't know how to do that. I could look into that. Anybody else? Can you reverse the note you play? Revert. Reverse. Reverse. So you have, you play a particular note and then you want to reverse and play. See whether they, they do some manipulations on that. No, no sure maybe you I can. talk to you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> We have a uh, talk by...